Hi guys, it's Tristan from ID Supplies, the marketing assistant here. So this week's episode of Coffee with ID Supplies is a little bit different. As you've noticed, Senjula isn't here, our wonderful host. So I'll be covering for this week only. Um, so in this episode, we're going to be talking about custom retractable reels. And let's get started. So retractable reels are great because of their ease of use. So they're used to carry um, ID, access cards and keys and the reason why people love them is because these are things that you wouldn't usually really want to flash around um, so lanyards are great for like marketing or for events but um, if you're in need of something just to carry your valuable items then this is where custom retractable reels come into play so there's many different types of retractable reels and different terms used in the industry so I'm gonna go through them all and I have a few examples to show you so the first one and the smallest is our mini retractable reels, which are also called zingers or yo-yos. And these guys are usually made of plastic um, and they're great for carrying lightweight items such as an ID, an access card, um, maybe one or two keys. And um, a lot of people who are in hospitals or an office would usually choose these guys um, and they're just more economical. Then we have the heavy duty retractable reels. So um, we actually have two types of heavy duty retractable reels. You have the key back and then you have these guys which are kind of in between the zinger and the key back. Um, so these guys are usually made of metal. Um, they have more of a stronger cord, maybe a steel cord. And you can hold uh, more weight with these guys. So you could probably pop an ID and access card and a few keys on this and it should be able to hold. And then you have the key backs which are probably better for rougher work environments. So if your work environment's outside, like a warehouse, um, these are great for police officers. And they are like really heavy duty, so they hold a lot. You could probably put 15 keys on these guys and it's not going to um, drop. So that's the three categories. And now we're gonna go into choosing which type of reel is best for you. So when you're trying to pick what reel you need, there's really three factors that you should consider. The first one is what are you carrying? And the second one is what is your work environment? Is it a softer work environment or is it a rougher work environment? And number three is your budget. So are you looking for something that's maybe more economical upfront that you might have to replace a little bit later down the track? Or are you looking for something that might be a little bit more expensive up front, but it's going to last you longer in the long run, and so you might not, you might end up saving money. Um, so if you're after something that's more economical, um, you don't really mind digging in your pockets later on every now and then if they get lost or if they break, then you'd go with the uh, mini retractable reels or the zingers. And if you don't mind spending a little bit more up front and you want something that's going to last you, that's more heavy duty, um, your work environment's more rough, then you'd go with the heavy duty retractable reels. So with your cord options, you can choose between nylon, chain, steel, uh, plastic coated steel or Kevlar. And Kevlar is really only with the key back range. Um, so uh, with the cords, again, it depends on what type of reel you're choosing. So uh, with some reels, only some cord options might be available with others. There might be only like one or two. Um, and then with your attachments, you have your uh, belt clip, your carab carabiner clip, or your rotating alligator clip. So with the belt clips, there's different sizes. Again, depends on what reel you're choosing. So obviously if you're choosing your mini reel, you're gonna have a smaller belt clip. Um, and then with your larger reels, you're gonna have bigger belt clips. And then this is just an example of a rotating alligator clip. And then these are your carabiner clips. So you've got two options as well. Again, depends on what type of reel you're choosing. So with your connection options, uh, it's a little bit similar to your custom lanyards. So you have your strap clips, your normal, your reinforced, and your uh, key rings as well, so you can get different sizes. Um, and with your connections, you can have, we can actually customize it to your needs. So you can have more than one. For example, you can have a strap clip and a key ring. Um, you can have up to three different connection options if you want. 
Um, and then some people like to have their retractable reels connected to a lanyard. Um, so that's just an example of one. So now I'm going to talk to you guys about the benefits of choosing a custom retractable reel. So the great thing about custom retractable reels is that you can choose what colour you want, you can incorporate your logo, um, and people like to do this because it matches um, uniform standards or it just shows off your brand. Um, so a lot of the hospitals like to do this. So we've got an example here of the bandaged bear retractable reel. So it's white, so it would probably match their uniform, but it just adds a bit of colour um, to the work environment. Um, we also have um, the New South Wales Ambulance. So again, their branding colours um, matches their uniform, looks great. Then you have your heavy duty retractable reels. Because they have a larger face surf surface, um, you can really show off your brand, um, make your logo nice and big, um, include your brand colours, and again, they just look really great. So I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, the ways that you can print your design um, or your logo onto your reels. So there's only two ways of doing this. So there's directly onto the reel um, and then there's via a dome. So you can see the differences there. So when you print directly onto the reel, you're a little bit limited to only, I think it's only one to two colours. But when you have, when you're using the dome, um, there's no limitation, so you can print full colour um, and the great thing about these is that your print is actually protected by this shiny plastic um, glossy coat, so your print isn't going to scratch off. So a lot of people like to choose the domes um, and another great benefit um, with choosing the domes is that say you've purchased a, a big bulk of um, retractable reels and then you've decided later on down the track that oh, I'd like to actually include my logo, I'd like to have it custom, then you can actually um, get your domes printed. So send us your artwork, get your domes printed, and then we can actually send you the stickers for you to stick on yourself. So now let's get into lead times. So ID supplies are most recognized for our fast turnaround times and our speedy service. So as you're aware, um, with the current climate, Delivery times have been slightly affected. So usually our lead time for custom retractable wheels is two to three weeks, but uh, in the current climate, it's now three to four. So um, getting your custom retractable wheels the fastest really depends on how quickly you get your artwork to us and how quickly you get it um, approved. So our, our number one tip really is to get your artwork to us in AI, EPS or editable PDF. Um, and then get that artwork approved on the same day and place your order on the same day. Um, and that's really going to ensure that you get your customer retractable reels um, the fastest within that three to four weeks. Okay guys, so that's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I won't be making a smooth exit because that's so me. But I hope you still enjoyed and catch us next week for another episode of Coffee with Ideas Supplies.